morning. It's uh, day 33, 21 from Amicalola. And uh, the zero is over, it's time to start hiking. Uh, little, the plan is Little Laurel, which is I believe 19.6. Um, that's the plan. I have another option at about 15 miles. Um, <laughs> you know, it's interesting, you know, getting to know these people. Last night I was roped into a little mini concert that was very silly. Um, and I was very self-conscious and, but I enjoyed it. We had fun. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, really enjoyed my zero I'm going down these big steps. And, uh, I can tell you still a little stiff, but I was trying to roll things out. I'm hoping that, you know, once I get moving, things will loosen up a little bit, which is typically what happens. Some of the things I was feeling specifically in my left calf uh, don't seem to be there this morning which means that what I was doing was having an effect um, some other interesting things is when I stop and have quote unquote real food somewhere I got like 20 minutes to get somewhere uh, I had a very open and honest discussion about my swamp ass with a guy who uh, is a triple crowner Nate who uh, does shuttling in the area um oh gosh i wish i'll i'll try to uh put in uh the name that he uses for um shuttling in the area and he goes pretty far he's a really nice guy and uh you know talking to him in the car is is a joy so yeah um zach galavanakis is his other name so yeah um and uh you know, the, the idea is like, don't wait till the end of the day to go clean things up. Like if you feeling sweaty and uh, schmeary, you know, and jump off trail, clean up. So I think that's the plan. You know, it's like, I don't want to get graphic, but I know that there's these problems that everybody experiences out on the trail and some of them are of a personal nature. So, How's my mood today? My mood is good. Um, <laughs> that was little engine. She thought I was hitchhiking because <laughs> I had my thumb out <laughs> um, while I'm recording. So, um, yeah, speaking of, you know, um, being around as many people that I don't know, it's, it's interesting because we're kind of thrown into these very intimate situations, like everybody's sleeping in the same place and you know, in and out of the bathroom and brushing our teeth and taking showers and stuff like that. And, you know, um, you know, I struggle with, um, you know, just being a human in society, keeping it short. So, um, but it seems to be okay. Everybody's people are people. And most of the people I'm meeting so far are good people. So, um, and I'm rolling with that. All right. Well, I'm going to get to hiking. I didn't get to catch up on as many videos as I would have liked to. Um, but I am catching up. So hopefully tonight I'll knock out a couple more and then be able to post them to whenever I get to the next place. Uh, yeah, I think right now I'm about nine days behind. So... Um, but the videos have been shorter, which I'm hoping people appreciate. Um, while I'm still trying to cover, you know, logistics. What am I doing? How am I feeling? Um, what are any issues that I'm struggling with? Um, you know, both technical and emotionally. So, yeah. We'll see how today goes. Later. So luckily I didn't get too far. I uh, forgot to return my room key. So I was taking the AT path, which comes down these steps and wraps around, but I've already walked it a couple times going to the supplier uh, or the, 
the resupply. So I am going to take the road at the top and avoid these steps for the second time or the third time today. Uh, yeah, there's that. So this concludes day 33, um, which is 21 from uh, Amicalola, 19.6 miles to Little Laurel Shelter. Um, pretty good day. Um, made it and left at 8.30. And got here at 5.15. So I think that's 8. 8, uh, or just actually just after 5. So I think that makes that 8.5 hours, right? 8.30 to 1,700 is... Uh, yeah, eight and a half hours, so twenty mi just about 20 miles. It's pretty good. Um, yeah, my feet really, really hurt. Um, like, they've been beat up, and my heel is sore. So I think my feet really need some love. I'm wondering if that day off just kind of um, gave them, you know, a chance to relax and feel. <sighs> um... Yeah, about to break 300 from Amicoco, uh, from Springer Mountain tomorrow, which puts us, puts me at a pretty good pace, basically 100 miles a week, um, seeing as this is week three from there, which is only going to get better because we're starting to do 20s on the regular. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's all I got to say right now. I'm trying to get some sleep. And um, yeah, see you guys in the morning.